Hi, welcome. In this video, I'll be adding additional M.2 SSD in this ASUS gaming laptop. So if you're planning to add additional storage, this video is going to walk you through from start to the end. Here is the disk management. As you can see that I only have one M.2 drive, which is disk zero. In the disk zero, I have the C drive. And of course, there's some partition for the uh, bootable OS master boot record and the restore things like that so in this hard drive there are multiple partition and i'll be adding additional m.2 here which is the two terabyte ssd it will be under this one with the just the data drive all right let's go ahead and get started first i need to turn off the computer all right while the computer is shutting down just gonna wait for until the light goes off. Let's do some flashing lights on it. All right, so once the light is off, let's go ahead and identify the model. If you take a closer look here on the bottom, you can see that it says G614J. That is the model of this laptop. And again, it's G614J. I'll be using a Phillips screwdriver. Let's go ahead and remove all the screws here. It looks like the bottom screws are much shorter compared to the screws on the top and in the middle. Once all the screws are removed, let's go ahead and open up the back cover. At this point here, you can see that the battery is underneath the original disk zero, which is the first M.2 drive is right here that has operating system on it. And here comes the uh, secondary slot where you can add additional M.2. Make sure that you have the gap matches the slot. Slide it in at 45 degree angle. Before I do that, definitely you need to remove the screw. I apologize for that. So there's one screw right here which is mounting onto the, uh, the bracket right there. So remove that screw. Slide in the new M.2 drive. Close it down and put the screws back in. That's, that is all you need to do. The next step is to put the cover back together.
All right, once I have all the screws back in, let's go ahead and turn on the computer because you still need to initialize the new disk. Uh, the, the hard drive has to be initialized in order to work. So let's go ahead and do that. For some reason, the thing is not turning on. Maybe the battery is run out. Let me get the charger for this. I can see the battery like is on. Okay, there we go. You can see the uh, Republic of Gamers logo is up. It's loading the Windows. So here we need to initialize the disk in order for the computer to see a brand new M.2 drive. So let's go ahead and initialize it. I need to log into the screen and I'll show you the steps on how to do that. So just bear with me. Right now the computer is still loading, turning on, and I need to sign in. Okay, I'm logged in at this point. I just got to make sure that the pop-up is not showing. Just give me a second. All right, so once you're in the uh, login screen, I mean, sorry, once you boot into the uh, desktop screen, um, here at the bottom left corner, you can see that little start icon. What I would like you to do is right click on that and go to disk management, right click on that Windows icon and cl click on disk management and here you can see that the uh, the secondary hard drive is listed right remember it was only disk 0 now you have disk 1 so what you need to do is initialize the disk uh, right click on the disk 1 so you just go to right click here right click on that click on initialize disk and then click OK And once it's done, you go ahead and right click on the black area here or the white area on the black bar. Uh, it says unallocated, so right click on that. Anyway, on the white section, click on new simple volume, click on next, click next, click next. And here it will tell you to name, give it a name. I'll just say uh, 2TB drive okay two terabyte drive I click next click finish so wait for the thing to show up and there we go we're gonna have um, the two terabyte drive ready and it says it says a D drive two terabyte drive is under um, instead of C it shows D okay so that's pretty much it that's all you need to do to initialize the uh, um, the new hard drive and uh, I just want to share with you you can see that the C drive is here and the two terabyte new hard drive is on the right side of it all right I hope this video is helpful and if you do find the video is helpful please go ahead and smash the like button for me and um, if you're not sure where to buy the M.2 drive, please check the link down in the description below. I will link it to either Amazon or eBay where you can find, uh, where you can buy the hard drive and also the tools for this add-on. Thanks for watching. Until next time. Bye now.